Okay, so you've done, uh, as we said, uh, the, uh, the gray. Here a bit brighter on this side, yeah. darker here. Some highlights here on the belt. Just very, very subtle. Yeah, also in there. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. And uh, I think everybody understands how we've done that. It was yeah. not rocket science. <laughs> not, not at all. All right, all right so um, actually the uh, last part that is still missing here is that little... Um, scroll. Scroll. Mm -hmm. I want that to be somewhat beige. Uh, we have to be careful to not go into uh, to yellow beige because that would be too close to the um, to the yellow, uh, mm. to the golden armor, and um, also we don't want the contrast to be as high as on the long metal. Right. Um, added a bit of um, rucksack tan from P3 to the palette, and I will tone it down with a bit of. On black. It's also a really nice color, the Rucksack Tan. We use it in different areas already. I find it always a little sad that these scrolls are so thick on the model, but of course uh, they have to have a certain thickness to be able to be either cast if they're in resin or um, yeah. for the injection molding. Um, yeah, I definitely agree. Um, if I would do a piece like that for, for competition, I would actually try to scrap it off yeah. and do a very fine one from green stuff or uh, even paper works fine. Yeah. What actually works very nicely is um, a blister material, uh, the plastic. Just use a. You can either heat it up in the oven or with the with a um, hair, not the hairdryer. What are they called? Those those really the hot ones. Heat guns. Heat guns. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then just um, shape them all different kind of ways. Yeah, yeah. that's true. But green stuff also works really fine. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I would preferably do them in green stuff. Um, yeah, but it's very. I mean, the small piece, very simple. Another thing I actually don't like is uh, if they sculpt something on the scrolls. Yeah. Um, in this case here, there's some uh, some swirls and lines that indicate some some kind of writing or spells. Um, I actually prefer to just paint on some thin lines because that looks more natural. Yeah, I completely agree. But again, I mean, this is uh, of course something that uh, um, targets the the gamer more than anything. Um, it's uh, actually it's it's very easy to paint it like this, just to wash and yeah, basically done. Yeah, we will also keep it quite easy. Yeah. Um, we have to make sure that first layer is entirely dry. All right, so uh, now we will add a layer of the um, add. Here is some strong tone wash from Ami painted to the palette. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the strong tone and the soft tone is actually something that we've uh, come to like quite a bit. Uh, I actually had to buy two new bottles of each <laughs> recently <laughs> because uh, Ben is drinking that stuff. So this is a basic, uh, classical wash. Just load the brush and go to town on that poor little <laughs> scroll there. And that's something that you will have to actually uh, let dry naturally uh, because the um, hair blower will remove the pigments. In directions you don't want to. Okay, yeah, but you can see it gathers quite nicely in the in the recesses and in the letters. Mm -hmm. How would you characterize the, the the properties of the the army painters? Is it very shiny? Is it uh, semi matte still, or um, actually they dry out pretty much as the uh, um, as the old 
Again, it's what your bosses did. The um, not the very old ones, but the, uh, the, the second, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like the devil in mud one. Yeah. Um. So rather flat. Mm. And again, that's important to know. So we're not saying that this is the only wash you should have. There's different washes. Um, some of them are glossy, some are not, and uh, depends a little bit on the effect you want. All right. That uh, took quite a while to dry. And now I'm going to um, add some highlight, so I'm adding white to the color. Mm -hmm. And I tried to use rather again the side of the brush to highlight the raised area. Yeah, and this way you're kind of saving the the uh, kind of what's that runes or not not runes or like whatever symbols they are, just the recesses. Already looks very scrolly. Yeah, the the tone is really nice uh, because it, it's a, it's a very natural, nice, uh, warm beige tone, and you can do a lot, a lot of different things with that. Yeah. If I remember correctly, we also used that uh, as a skin color on um, the shield maiden, right? Mm, yeah, you, you used that for the for the uh, more beige highlights on the forehead. Yeah. So what are the properties of the P3s? Are they? Um, it it varies a bit with the P3s, mm -hmm. um, but they tend to dry off a little bit more uh, more glossy. Okay. Um, but they are very uh, very opaque, so you you get a very good, good coverage. Yeah, yeah. Just like that. Yeah. And also here along the edge. Here. Yeah, and because you're um, painting on a pretty dark um, underlying area, uh, just by using the same color uh, in different areas, uh, on two or three layers, you can create um, blendings and highlights of this color. Because again, the, the consistency of the paint is not too thick right now. It's always shining through the, the underground, is always shining through a little bit. <laughs> Underlying color. <laughs> okay, and a bit more of the uh, the wash here. As you can see, we've just done the uh, backside of this uh, scroll off cam. It's not not the most exciting part of the miniature, and uh, Ben is just applying the another wash just to get the uh, symbols stick out a little more. Yeah, also to, to increase the shadow. Yeah. So up here a little bit. So this is more tar targeted now, you're not going over the whole thing. Yeah. Not as much here in the front because that is more facing towards the light. Just a tiny bit. <coughs> yep, very nice. Right. Yep. Qu quick and dirty. <laughs> no, not quick and dirty, but uh, simple and nice. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's I want to say it looks pretty awesome already. Yeah, I, I really like the, the look as well. The shiny gold looks uh, really fantastic. It really sparkles. I'm, I'm quite happy with the with the result. And I can't actually wait to see how he looks once the shield is in place. I'm actually very unhappy right now because I only bought white, one of the white dwarfs and not two. <laughs> no, they're sold out. <laughs> All right, we'll come back with a shield. All right.